Today we're going to be learning how to install Fringe on the iPhone. First step is we're going to click on Application Store. Now in order to use an application store you have to have an iTunes account which I'm not going to cover here but if you have an iPhone or an iPod I'm sure you've created one. So once we're in application store we're going to go to search and we're going to type in Fringe. That's F R I N G. I'm going to hit search and we're going to get a couple options but the one we want is right up at the top so we're going to click right where it says free click on there it's going to give us a little page about fringe you can go ahead and read it if you want otherwise you can just click on the little box that says free and then it changes to install so we're going to go ahead and click on that again and that's all it takes oh, we have to input our password here so let me go ahead and do that Okay, let's see, here we go. So once we enter our password in, we're going to hit OK. And the application should start loading by itself. Should be a couple seconds. Uh, now since I've already done this before and I erased it for demonstration purposes, it shows I've already purchased it. I'm just going to hit OK. The application continues to load. You're going to see a little progress bar going from black to blue in a couple seconds. It's going to now it changes over to installing. And once it's done installing, in order to use it, the only thing we have to do is click on the button. Okay, here we go. So now it's done installing. So we're going to go ahead and click on Fringe and it's going to bring up Fringe. Now it's going to ask us to create an account or if you have an existing account. For this demonstration we're going to go ahead and create a new account. To show you how easy it is. User ID is uh, it really doesn't matter. You can type in whatever you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and write uh, just something simple here. Test ID. Okay. Our nickname uh, again really doesn't matter for our use here, so we're just going to write um, whatever you know. It doesn't really matter. Um, our password. Just make sure you write these things down. Password. You can type in the ever popular password, which I really don't suggest. You should probably use something different. And email address where you can get fringe updates. Uh, you can uncheck it or check it if you want. So we're just going to write a bogus email address for now just to, just to get this going here. Okay. So as you can see Okay, I messed up a little here. Okay, and that's all it's going to take. Now, in order to set up our Global Freedom Phone account, we're going to have to go down to, well, you can see it says add-ons because we haven't registered for anything. For If for any reason you can't get to the screen, you're going to hit more down below, add-ons. And once again, that brings us to the same screen. We're going to go ahead and pick SIP, which is uh, the type of service that we have with Global Freedom Phone. And as you can see, there's various different SIP providers, SIP Net, Gizmo, so on and so forth, VoIP Buster. Uh, Global Freedom Phone is not listed, so we're going to hit Other. And here it's going to ask us for three things, password and proxy. The user ID is going to be your 10-digit phone number. Password is going to be Authenticate Password. And proxy is going to be sip.hostedvoiptelecom.com. So I'm going to go ahead and input those things in now. And I'm just going to put a bogus phone number just to show you what it would look like. Okay, so it would be your 10-digit phone number. 
your password has to be is case sensitive so you want to type in exactly what it says and this is the most important part here also SIP dot hosted VoIP telecom dot com okay and once we're done there we can just hit login I should subscribe us to the SIP as you can see now we have a check next to SIP so that means we're registered on our SIP server in order to make a phone call you could either do it from dialer and you go ahead and input a 10 digit phone number starting with one it's very important that once you have your 10 digit phone number you go ahead and hit SIP okay that's one way of making a call uh, another way is that Fringe automatically uploads all your contact information. So you have your contacts from your iPhone on there already. So you could go ahead and just click on any number that you have in there. Uh, it's going to bring it up. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to give you two options, SIP or a cellular call. You're going to hit SIP to use your Global Freedom phone. And that's all it takes to make a phone call. Hit OK and there you go your global freedom phone now on your iPhone unlimited free calls that's it